this is Vapid's newest vehicle. I would say car, but it's not really a car. It's a massive truck. It's called the Caracara 4x4. Now, if you remember a while ago, I actually reviewed the 6x6 version of this, which is an even massiver truck. But, um, this is the civilian version, so it doesn't have a massive machine gun on the back. And they decide to lop off two axles, so it's not 15 tons. It's a measly 3 tons. Partially because of the lack of armor, and the lack of gun, and the lack of axle. So, it is much more, it is much more fuel efficient. It gets 8 MPG in this vehicle. And, well, that's because it has a very interesting engine. It's a 450 horsepower V6. But it's from not your everyday vehicle, certainly. You see, the Mad Men at Vapid have decided to put the engine from the Vapid FMJ in it. You know, their $1.8 million, 217 mile an hour Le Mans winning supercar. So, it's a pretty prestigious engine, but ooh, this is designed for the off-road like this. It's not designed for the track. That's why it has 13 inches of suspension travel and four-wheel drive and better tires and a bull bar to go with it. This is a genuine off-road beast. <laughs> uh. On the market today, there's not much better off-road than this, certainly. Uh. <laughs> these jumps and bumps and shatter the suspension of most SUVs these days. Ooh. But this, absolutely no problem. No pickup truck, nice and easy. Uh. <laughs> Having fun. This is very fun and very serious, I swear. Very serious automotive review. Speed! Oh. Oh, look. A river. How perfect to stumble across to show this new feature of this wading technology that it has. Because it's very high riding and because it has a better exhaust system, I bet you I can wade through this without a care in the world. Yep. Sure enough, doesn't even care. Maybe it's a small puddle, maybe it's a river, I don't know, they, it can't tell the difference. However, as great as the Caracara 4x4 is, you can't beat the old guard. It's called the Hellion, from Anna, it was made in 1990s, and this is, well, unstoppable really. This originated the crazy off-roader trend. And it is really rather brilliant. Has even more suspension than the Vapid. 15 inches on all four corners. Four-wheel drive, locking differentials, and I can just turn off this road and go pretty much wherever I damn well please. Yeah. So I'm just cruising through here, and I think I'll just show off the suspension travel. Yep, it's pretty big, pretty big suspension travel. It can go at an angle of 46 degrees without rolling over, which is nice, especially there, especially there. And all in all, it would probably take Mount Doom to stop this, and then we'll climb that too. This is an off-road juggernaut. And to prove how much of an off-road juggernaut this vehicle is, I have devised a little test, aka climbing that hill. Well, it's not really a hill, it's a mountain, but whatever. Same difference for this thing, I bet. That's a little steep, that's a little steep, it's fine, we're using low range locking diffs, there we go. That's what, 60 degrees, probably? A little, a little more than that. Just effortlessly going up this hill, not even a care in the world. That's just sky. That's just sky with a slew. There we go, climbing over a bull thing while we're doing it, and parked. 
I mean, seriously. That was the easiest rock climb I've ever done. <laughs> and if you need more proof for some reason that the Hellion is the ultimate off-roader, in the 1990s, it was unstoppable in the Dakar. In fact, it's won more Dakar rallies than any, any motorsport vehicle in history. Nine of them, to be precise. Not bad. But to compare the two in a proper test, I have devised a little course through the countryside, and we're going to see which one is the fastest through these gates. It's about a minute and a half long, two miles this course. Should be a good comparison. We'll start off with the Karakara first. So, by, oh, by the way, Karakara means a uh, car car in Spanish. Just for curiosity, so you know, William studies very well. Anyway, rev it up. And we're off. Chuck it in. Ooh, bit of oversteer there. That's a lot of oversteer. Nicely done. Using that all wheel drive to good use. Kicking it through the chicane. Oh, we got a little ditch. Oh, it's a bit it's a bit of a long vehicle. That's true. Going over the logs. Now we gotta knock them down. Come on, power. There we go. Up and over. Nicely done. Now chuck in around this hairpin, and then we have the graveyard, as I call it. Ooh. Ugh. That's not bad. Go over the hill. This isn't doing too bad. I was hoping for a little bit better somewhat, but there you go. Going over the pipes now. I like that suspension trail. I like that ground clearance. Didn't even scrape at all. Anyway, on to the speed of flat second 70 miles an hour. Over the jump. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Big jump, get on the brakes, get on the brakes, get on the brakes! Ah, that's 5,000 pounds trying to be stopped there. Good test of the suspension articulation up the hill. One more to go, we gotta test its agility, it's winding through here, woo. And then, nice rock crawl, come on, come on, there we go. Across the line. Not bad, struggled a bit more than I thought it would, if I'm being honest, but... Not bad. Well, let's see how the Hellion goes. Three, two, one, go! We're off. Ooh, big oversteer. Wait. Even more oversteer than the pickup. But we're just weaving it through here nicely. Weaving it through your 90s technology versus modern day. Through there with ease. Climb it. Nope. Come on. There we go. Yes. And we're over. And in the flat out turn, there we go. Now handbrake, yes, over the graveyard with uh, uh, ease. It was faster, but not as, whoa, really. That was a lot of air time, climbing the pipes. Uh, there we go. It's faster, I'll give it credit where he was going faster over these. Through the jump, get some air time, get some air time. Uh, uh. Okay. Oh, got a brace. Woo! Okay, that was faster there. Uh, uh. It's a good thing the suspension is very strong, because it is enduring a lot of punishment now. Woo, got a brace. This is even wider than the pickup earlier. And we crawl much easier over there, and we are across the line. Whew. That was not as comfortable. My spine is shattered in several places, but it was significantly faster, I think. And my prediction was correct. Well, it did shatter every bone in my body. It was 12 seconds faster, almost, through the corners. That is some serious speed from the Hellion. And both of these are four-wheel drive. Both of these are off-roaders. And the Hellion just blitzes the newcomer by absolute miles. So while the pickup truck, the Karakara, may be the more comfortable option... If you want pure off-roading capability, you can't beat the classics.